Hello, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. So you have already read the title. You know what this video is going to be. I did a what I eat in a week. And whenever I do these what I eat in a week videos, I always just do Monday through Friday. So it's like a what I eat in a working week type of thing. And for this video, I actually decided to track my calories for every single day that I filmed. And unlike my other videos, this was not filmed in a consecutive week because my goal with this video is to show the fluctuations in like my caloric intake depending on the day. Like I don't have the same amount of calories every single day, which is something that I used to do years ago. I was obsessed with tracking my calories and I would beat myself up so hard whenever I was like, like five calories over. If any of you guys are feeling that way or have felt that way, then this video is just to show like how much my calories change and I've kind of maintained my weight for over a year, I think at this point. And this what I eat in a week video, unlike my other what I eat in a week videos, it was not filmed in a consecutive week because I didn't want to count the calories for videos like food related videos I already uploaded because I think that would be like cheating and kind of boring and I also didn't want to count the calories for videos that weren't normal days of eating so for example it would be the studio ghibli video where i ate studio ghibli recipes for 24 hours or the video where i ate um like disney movie foods for 24 hours those aren't normal days of eating they're like very structured to the video that i'm filming so i didn't want to count those so these five days that i filmed are just normal days of eating and you will see that i am very much a creature of habit and my caloric intake does fluctuate by I don't know, I actually haven't edited that part yet, so I guess I will see how much my caloric intake fluctuates. But yeah, that's my goal with this video. A little disclaimer, I'm not saying that my diet is healthy. I'm not saying my diet is good at all. You might look at my diet and be like, this is trash, and I'll be like, you know what, man? Maybe it is to you, I don't know. <laughs> I am not a registered dietitian, I am not a professional, I am someone that all of my knowledge from food is because I have done my own personal research because I used to be so obsessed with food and I definitely suffered from like orthorexia in the past and I suffered from every eating disorder under the sun. So all of my knowledge from food was due to my obsession with food back in the day, which is not the same as someone that goes to school and gets their degree in nutrition. So I'm not trying to promote my diet in any way. I simply promote a healthy lifestyle. I encourage a healthy lifestyle. And by that, I just mean, you know, not stressing over food. I don't think food is something to be stressed over because I did that for so many years. And let me tell you, it's not worth it. I think everyone is free to eat whatever they want, however they want, carnivore, vegan, keto. Like I don't care because that is your choice. It's your body, your choice. You know what I mean? So if you do not agree with the way I eat, that is totally okay. Then you don't have to eat the way I eat. So that was just my little disclaimer. Don't take this video as like a, a meal plan type of video or a way for me to say this is the right way to eat because it's not. And I'm not also saying that this is like the right amount of calories that you need to eat because I don't have enough personal information about you to know that. But if you do end up enjoying this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. You can't see my thumb thumbs up to let me know but if you absolutely hate it which I would not blame you for you can give a thumbs down because that's okay too and of course subscribe for more content by your certified damsel in distress so that's enough rambling for my intro now let's just get on with the video okay so for the first day I had one of my favorite breakfasts, which is this kind of yogurt parfait thing I use forager cashew gurt as the base mixed with chia seeds hemp seeds vanilla protein powder and some cinnamon I mix all of that together and I add my fruit of choice, which is typically frozen blueberries and blackberries. I then add a handful of kamut puffs and whatever granola I'm feeling for that day. You guys are going to see this breakfast a lot throughout this video because it's just my go-to at the moment. I also had my moon tea every day with breakfast, which is just some Earl Grey tea, oatmeal cookie creamer, and then my Koya drink, which is in the flavor of coconut almond. I just don't always show it. I don't really film it, but just to let y'all know, I did have that as well. Oh, 
I then had one of these back to nature peanut butter cookies and then went on to make my lunch. For this day, I had a sandwich which was made with three strips of this vegan bacon from the brand Sweet Earth. I also used the spread which is just a mixture of cashew ricotta, spinach, and follow your heart mozzarella cheese. <laughs> I added some tomato and lettuce, cut it diagonally, and that was my lunch. For a snack, I just had some popcorn and these seaweed chips, which are really, really good. I am so obsessed with them, and I would definitely give them a try if you ever find them. For dinner, your girl had some teriyaki chicken nuclear fried rice. Yes, this dish was so good, and I would highly suggest you make it. Oh my god. I started off by cooking this vegan chicken that I found at Sprouts with some teriyaki sauce, as well as pan fried my go-to vegetables, which are broccoli, zucchini, and mushroom. I seriously cannot live without these three vegetables. It's like the trifecta for me. I added some kimchi to the vegetables and then mixed in some brown rice once they were almost finished cooking. I added the teriyaki chicken, some nuclear noodle sauce, and some just egg. I fried all of that up for a few minutes and then I plated it. Y'all, this was one of my favorite dinners from this week. Seriously, make it when you get the chance. For dessert, I just had a vegan oatmeal chocolate chip cookie from Whole Foods and some frozen grapes. And that was everything I had for this day. All right, day two, my friends. For breakfast, I had basically the same thing as yesterday, except I decided to get a little crazy. And my fruit of choice was some sliced gala apple with a plum, which I was really disappointed with because this plum was super sour. On God, it was just not a pleasant experience, to be honest. I also used this Cascadian farm granola, which was really tasty and thankfully kind of saved this breakfast for me. <laughs> Lunch was really simple and lazy. It was just some leftover Kite Hill tortellini and some spicy marinara sauce. For dinner, I had some noodle soup, which I've been loving lately. I've been having this dinner almost every single night. The broth is made with this Tom Yum soup base, soy sauce, and nuclear noodle sauce. I get my noodles at the Asian market, by the way, and I like to have my noodles with my typical vegetables and some tofu, which are both seasoned with soy sauce, salt, and pepper. And dessert was a vegan chocolate chip cookie from Sprouts, dark chocolate covered almonds with turbinado sugar, and some frozen grapes. Day three's uh, pre-breakfast was my moon tea and three vegan chocolate chip cookies from Sprouts. I just woke up and decided, yes, this is how I'm gonna start my day. And let me tell you, it was a good decision. <laughs> For my real breakfast, I just had the same breakfast I had on day one, which was the yogurt parfait using frozen blackberries and blueberries. For a snack slash lunch, I guess, I just had these dang Thai rice chips in the flavor toasted sesame, and oh my god, these are so addicting. I love them. And I also had some mini pita bread snacks with my favorite garlic hummus. And for dinner, I had nuclear black bean noodles, which I have shown the recipe for so many times on my channel. So if you're curious, you can just watch one of my previous videos. But yeah, this is also one of my favorite dinners of all time. Day four, your girl went back to her roots and had a nice 
classic bowl of oatmeal. I used two packs of this instant oatmeal, made my little protein mixture, which is just a scoop of vegan vanilla protein powder, cinnamon, and cashew milk. I added that to the cooked oatmeal, added some salt, of course, frozen blueberries, and some frozen blackberries, and a solid amount of peanut butter. Lunch, if you want to call it that, was some mini pita bread snacks, a handful of Stacy's pita chips, so we've got the soft pita and the hard pita, you know, and my favorite garlic hummus. Dinner, I apparently didn't film because I'm stupid and a failure at life. I just had this cauliflower gnocchi with my usual vegetables, a Beyond Meat Italian sausage, garlic hummus, and spicy marinara. I've shown the meal before on my channel, but yeah, I apologize. I don't know why I didn't film the end result. I'm just <laughs> stupid. For dessert, I just had some back to nature peanut butter cookies, frozen grapes, and a few squares of this banana nut chocolate. Like a chef, I'm a five star Michelin. Day five, final day, we made it. For breakfast, I had some waffles with this adorable waffle maker I got on Amazon and I'm in love with it. For the mixture, I just used this Birch Benders pancake and waffle mix, added like half a scoop of extra protein powder, some cinnamon, and I mixed it with some cashew milk and then added it to the waffle maker. Pretty self explanatory. You don't want to be in it? You don't want to be in it? No. Are you sure? Sure. Hey. I added some chocolate chips and they look so cute. Oh my God, I love them. And some maple syrup on the side for dipping. And that was my breakfast. First snack, I had a peach, which was my first peach ever. And now I have decided that peaches are one of my favorite fruits. <laughs> Lunch was a plain bagel with some Kite Hill chive cream cheese. I also added this everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's, which I know, I know, I'm really late on the trend, but on God, this stuff is so tasty. I love it. And I also had these, um, they're basically vegan Cheez-Its and a handful of kettle cooked barbecue chips. Dinner was the same noodle soup that I had on day two and dessert was a chocolate chip cookie chocolate chip cookie dough and the last of my frozen grapes <laughs> and that is going to conclude this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it again give it a thumbs up to let me know that you did but if you absolutely hated it then you can give it a thumbs down because that is okay too comment anything else you'd like to see on my channel and subscribe for more content fires truly and before you go if you haven't already heard it today you are amazing you are beautiful you're wonderful you're valid, and I am so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.